What is a feature that is inarguably hot, regardless of gender? Eyes and butts. And a large penis. I am only interested in girls if I can be sure they have 10 or more inches. I slept with a girl once who had an 8 inch penis. Worst night of my life. Made me feel all empty inside. I completely agree with you on the eyes side. I was once working at a charity shop and a woman came in. She was probably in her late 40s about 5 foot 2 when she approached the counter the first thing I saw were her eyes and they were gorgeous. They were just so mesmerizing and beautiful. They were like a grey blue with a hint of light purple all combined to make a pastel galaxy. After that I realized how amazing our eyes can actually look. Hygiene. Christy. How's the new fella? Great thanks. He's got a good job. Nice car. Washes his coke. Dream boat. Intelligence. Unfortunately, there are people attracted to stupid. I know someone that had a relationship with someone intelligent. The guy expected my friend to think for herself and form her own opinions like he did. She left him. Now she's with an idiot who just follows the crowd. She's much happier now because she doesn't have to think all the time and has someone who tells her what is best. She'll say things like he told me that a vote for X would be the best vote. She still has her choice because he'd never force her into it, luckily, but she just likes it when she isn't doing the thinking herself and can just blindly follow someone else's opinion. I shudder even thinking about it. Competence. I'd be pretty happy with competent people generally, hot or not. Dimples. Probably. Dimples. Forearms. And humor. These are the only reasons I've ever gotten laid. I have forearms too. I got a chance. Smelling good. Yes, I love my husband's smell. Even his natural body smell at the end of the day is intoxicating to me. I always say you could hand me 20 guys t-shirts and I could pick which one was his based on his smell alone. I want to smell your husband now. A good UX design. If she can do backend development too then you gotta marry them. Those things are rare. Nice collarbones. Yes, prominent collarbones are hot as duck. Hugs, but like the kind that are just really warm and genuine. The kind that breathe life into somebody. Edit, I love hearing Wiles hug stories keep them coming. I haven't had a good hug in a long time. And I go through periods of feeling deprived of touch affection. So for me hugs can be really powerful and evoke a lot of emotion. I just wanted to say to all of you peeps missing being able to give receive hugs. I am right there with you. And when this is all over I hope your first hug again is ask me anything zing. Nice. Teeth. How about a IDK a 17 year old guy that's barely getting braces because he had a hatred for dentist from childhood experience that he didn't want to go to dentist ever but still has bad teeth but he's trying to get braces to finally fix it. Asking for a friend. Passion. When someone speaks about something they're really passionate about I can sit down and talk with them for hours. Just to hear them speak about it. Everyone says this then you start talking to them about the manufacturer's marks in progressive lenses and they just look at like you have escaped the asylum. A good singing voice. A lot of singers are okay but there are a few that certain parts of their songs will give me that same rush like someone kissing my neck. This thread just straight up told me I'm not attractive. Confidence. Opinions. Thoughts about things. Curiosity. Really dull people are a total waste of time. Rolled. Up. Sleeves. Hot on anyone and everyone emo. Smile. Sadly not all smiles are equal. Most people have a nice smile but some people have this phenomenal ability where if they smile it's like the whole room smiles back. I went to college with a guy whose smile would light up a room. He would smile at you like he was genuinely happy and excited to see you. And you showing up was all he needed for his day to start. I'll never forget the feeling of being smiled at like that. It wasn't just me, either. He smiled like that at everyone he knew. I'll never forget you, Ben. Why did I have to scroll so far to find this? 100% it's the smile. That contagious. Genuine. Spontaneous smile that spreads all over the face in a matter of a heartbeat. Coupled with a good sense of humor. I'm gone. 
facial features in general, eyebrows, eye color, cheekbones, jawline, lip shape, beautiful, edit. I hope you all know that I'm not trying to say that people who are missing facial features are ugly. Yeah, I agree. Faceless people aren't that attractive to me either. Knowing the difference between there, there and there. There goes my chance I guess. Just gotta keep putting yourself out there. These guys are idiots they're getting them the wrong way round. Definitely humor. When you have the same sense of humor as someone else and you can just feel the click. That's an amazing feelings. When you make a joke and the person doesn't get it. That feels bad man. When you make a joke and not only does the person get it but they seamlessly add to the joke. That's one of the best feelings. Looking like Danny DeVito. Smelling like Danny DeVito. Tasting like Danny DeVito. Feeling like Danny DeVito. 100 degrees Celsius. This just makes 60% of me boil. I'll settle for 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's enough to make me feverish. Symmetry. Ah, I see you are a man of science, as well. Genuine kindness. Anyone who is kind from the bottom of their heart is undeniably attractive. I agree 100% with you, but I wish it wasn't the case. What I mean by this is, I feel like genuine kindness is so so rare to find in a person, which is what makes it so attractive, and I wish it was more common. Does that make sense? Makes sense in my head but I could have some isolation brain going on. Personality. A charming person is charming no matter what. Certain kinds of personalities are ducking hot. Also nice hands. Soft skin. Hey smooth skin. Emotional intelligence and communication skills. If you can tell me what you're feeling during a disagreement without being hurtful. And can also tell me what you're feeling and what feels good. That's hot. I feel personally attacked. I would like to tell you why but I can't find the words right now. You obviously don't care enough if you don't know s. A person who is caring for others without any hidden agenda. What if my hidden agenda is to make others happy so they don't catch on to my misery? Definitely authenticity. I don't want an Instagram clone. Tell me about your niche hobbies and interests. Be the weirdo you are on the inside. I'd like to add that there is nothing wrong with liking popular things. Popular things are popular for a reason. Because people like them. It's just as unauthentic when someone pretends to only like niche stuff and despises all popular things. Being honest to yourself and having true interests that are not only to impress others is what counts. Do you have any tips on how to not just be another clone? I've been struggling with this recently as I realize I've been a typical jock who plays video games, watches sports, etc. The only hobby I have that is somewhat niche is liking anime. But I usually find myself embarrassed to talk about it as most of my friends don't find it entertaining. As long as you genuinely enjoy those things then you're being authentic. Your personal uniqueness will still come through as opposed to someone who is pretending to be something you're not. Especially when your passion for those topics starts to shine through. Don't stress about being a clone. Just be you. What do you like about the sports and games? Is there something about them that speaks to you and makes you happy? If there is, what other things would also make you happy? Are there any hobbies or interests you have heard of or want to try out? Maybe you want to try collecting signatures from your favorite players, or something completely new like leather working and making your own boots. It's not bad to like popular things. A lot of popular things are great, and that's why they're popular. It only becomes annoying when you try to like them because everyone else likes them, you know? Best comment of the day. Scarcity principle. Are we just going to gloss over the impact that has on human psychology? Things we tend to find attractive are things we aren't already numb to. If literally every dude on earth had the same shredded up body, nobody would be considering that especially attractive like they do now. We'd be numb to it. And in the other direction, we have fashion, hairstyles and shit like that. They are nowhere near as difficult to assume and maintain as getting in crazy good shape. So we see things falling in and out of fashion much more rapidly. Some famous dildo got an undercut and it made him stand out at first. But pretty quickly, guys noticed and started doing the same. 
Fast forward a year. Every dude on earth has this haircut. It's no longer rare. It's no longer novel. Nobody is standing out because of it, and then it's goodbye undercut. Same thing happens with beards. They're in. Everybody grows one. They become overly abundant. Everyone shaves them. My advice. Find a look that suits you, and roll with it. Change not because you're expected to, but because it's your personal ambition to do so. To me, there's nothing more unattractive than somebody so uncertain of themselves that they completely surrender their creativity and lay themselves at the mercy of the herd.